Maybe if we talk to Jennifer again. This Jennifer one's annoying. Yeah? I just noticed she's wearing the polo shoes. You in the suit. You and Leech, Jennifer? Hey, don't badmouth Leech. There's a lot more to him than soup, you know. Like what? For one thing, he wields an axe like nobody's business. So you got yourself a new guitar player. What can I say? I'm a girl who appreciates a hot lick. Yeah, I remember. Come on, Jennifer. Nobody in town plays guitar like me. I'm talking electric guitar, Martin. I'm going to be honest, the ukulele has to go. <laughs> I can outplay your loser boyfriend any day of the week. You're that desperate to get to first base. Did you say first or fourth? I'd give you two and a half. But first, you got to prove you've got better fingers than Leech. You ready to throw down? I was born ready. You got okay. a guitar? Never leave home without it. Hold on. You can knock on my door anytime. Hold it, we got company. McFly, what's that was doing here? He says he can outplay you. I told him, there's no one in Hill Valley better than you. You wanna go prove it? The ring of rock? <laughs> don't crush him too bad. Just teach him a lesson. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Cut my cord, you asshole! Somebody should have cut it a long time ago, McFly. The winner and undefeated champion of Hill Valley. Claim your prize, champ. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Wait, was well, that back to, to work. Go? See you, loser. I can't believe you'd let him get away with that. He totally broke the rules. There are no rules in rock and roll, Martin. That's why a guy like you shouldn't compete. So did we lose? I, I don't know. Leech plays big and dirty, maybe too big for his own good. And watch out, he cheats. Maybe he wouldn't be so good with his amp knocked over. You can get leech to knock over his own amp you might also get him to trip himself up on the concussion <sighs> so we gotta do it again all right well we will do it in a second i need to go do something yeah? real quick hey guys we're back and well i'm back so i want a rematch hmm. Ooh, you got nerves mcfly you really want to be it's nothing but a pose do you now want a sample maybe if you can beat Leech. I think <laughs> what a man will do for a kiss. I already swatted you once, McFly. Shouldn't you be lying? I was, but then your mom threw me out. What'd you say, my mother? Try not to leave <laughs> any scars, baby. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so we need to get him to kick over his thing.
<laughs> Martin McFly, that was, that was, that was totally awesome. What can I say? Some guys got it and <laughs> some guys don't. <laughs> you broke my head, Stock. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait, I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number... Jennifer! Daddy! 476D! Open mouths? And tongues! You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk. About the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on. Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476 D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. Carry on my And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. McFly! Nothing else I can do. <laughs> hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Jeez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Well, Marty, what's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy gotta do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it? Young Mr. McFly is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry. We're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps. The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. I always knew your goody two-shoes A-plus student act was too good to be true. Fuck you, Parker. Fuck you. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll kill you later. For now, I gotta see Doc. Don't you think I'll get annoying after a while? Come in, citizen. Marty. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, of Lorraine, president of Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Former Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is what happened to you? It's like this, Doc. I'm a different Marty McFly. Doc. Interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. 
Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Whatever. Let's get through this nonsense so I can set you straight. You'll set me straight? Explain. This! What you've turned into! It's all wrong! You're supposed to be a scientist, an inventor! You created the flux capacitor, and, and we went on all these crazy adventures in time, and your hair! You don't look good, Doc. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes! You went to all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes! A cry for help, as it were. Yes! No, wait. Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? Not where I come from. When I left here, both my parents were happy and well-adjusted. Okay, they didn't start out that way, but that's where your time machine comes in. Time machine? Yeah. Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. <laughs> Why? Dumb question. Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. It was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's, it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because... Everything I...